still at the Think Conference. I'm here with Jay from Dom Tara Paper. Woo! Yeah. All right, lots of talk about paper at this conference. Quite frankly, more paper vendors and suppliers at a conference I've seen in a long time. What does it take for a paper company to get into this inkjet space? First of all, you have to invest a lot of time and a significant amount of money. As an example, one particular paper I'm thinking of, it took us a year to develop, and so we had the paper, right? But having the paper doesn't do it justice to run in these machines because it has to run from the roll through the machine, and once it gets on the back end, it has to run through the finisher. And that particular paper, it wasn't done in development because it hadn't run through all of the third-party developing third-party equipment. So what we did, we spent an additional year developing that paper to get it right. So two years of development to get one paper developed so that it could run roll to roll and actually run with the finishing device on the back end. And that's pretty much, once it's certified, that means that that paper will react the way it's supposed to react to that ink and that technology is on that press, correct? Yeah, so what, what you're buying is you're buying quality and consistency. That's it. So there are many products that are available that you get consistent runs and then you'll get a run that's maybe not so consistent. But with these particular products, they're on a tested media list. Tested media means it's made the cut and everything is good. For cut sheet, there actually is a certified media list. And certified means it's on the list, it's been tested. We would send in, as an example, here at Canon at the Think Conference, we would send in 30,000 sheets, they would run it, they would test it, and if it cut the mustard, if life was good, they were happy with it, it would make it to that media verification process and make the list. How So is that how people find out wh where to get the inkjet certified papers or the paper companies, uh, I guess, advertising it in some way? Yeah, so um, the way that works is sometimes we're co-developing products where they say there's a need and we come up with a product. Other times we have products sitting in our warehouse ready to go already. Uh, an example would be a color lock product. That's a treated product that we've had for years and it happens to run really well in the i300. So while others are trying to take rolls, convert them to sheets, make sure that it runs effectively in a, co in a cost-effective manner in a cut sheet printer, we have those boxed and ready. So that's the advantage of using a product you already have that you know works well in inkjet. So what are the actual stocks that you have that are inkjet certified or approved? Uh, Boy, we have of the 60 or so that are on Canon's list today, and it may be a little more. That's are you the, kidding me? You said 60, 60? Six, 60. Zero. Six, zero. Oh yes. my God. So over 60 stocks approved on the i300 list for all vendors. All right. Now, of those 60, I believe Domtar or Enterprise Group has 27, 28 of those. Uh, like I said, the list could be a little longer now. This was a list in uh, in August. So they're, they're constantly approving papers. It takes a little time. But we have many, many papers. So, okay. We've been talking a little real today at the conference. So I have been sitting uh, next to printers who keep grumbling every time the paper companies get up and are talking about paper. And it seems to me that they're, I mean, the reality of it is they, they can't make as much money off these uh, specialty papers because there's a higher cost, but there's more to it. It's not just coming out of the mill, it's tested, it's treated. What would your argument be about um, why not to just try something else until until it you know, works and to use one of these uh, certified papers? Right, so if you use these certified papers, let's just say, you know, I used color lock earlier, that's a treatment. And a lot of these papers, they are treated. Treated meaning they're not, they're uncoated papers, but they're treated, so they're optimized for inkjet. What you get for that is you get a better color gamut. You're gonna get with a treated sheet 55% more colors than you would get with an uncoated sheet. So why wouldn't you invest a small premium, not 55%, you know, I'll say it, five, 10% in something that gets you that gamut where you can hit the colors that you actually want to right. hit. And you know, and what I would say is, what is it worth to have a happy customer? Yes. What is it worth to keep a customer who's not like, okay, you got me on this inkjet technology, now what in God's name am I looking at? With, and then they blame the paper. You know, so I, it works hand in hand. Thank you so much for your candor. 
how can people get in touch with Domtar and find out more about your inkjet and other offerings? Yes, you can go to uh, www.domtar.com and you can research. We have a section there for inkjet papers. We have uh, 12 offerings there. If you're a book publisher, we have uh, products for that. If you're transactional, you're trans promo, direct mail, many offerings. Uh, we're very thankful for the opportunity to talk to you today. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome.